All right, I just received the Simolio Ideal for Quality of Life 2.4 gigahertz digital wireless headset, voice highlight, uh, automatic signal control. It's got a bunch of different things here. You can read it. Let's go ahead and open the box, see what we get. All right, so you're going to get, of course, your manuals. And then this is it right here. Let's take a look. We'll pull it out of the out of its um, sheet. You can get it out of there. Looks pretty small, which is nice. So here's the unit itself. You can see those electrical contacts. That's for uh, the charge. Um, I do believe we should have. Yeah, here it is. So you got a power cord. You got an optical splitter. You got an audio in. And then you've got treble and bass. You can change it. Uh, it's got the off and on. You got mono and stereo. So there's um, that's basically all of your uh, uh, all of your controls on this battery compartment cover. So if we pull that, that opens up and there's the battery inside. If we push it, it comes out. So this is a lithium battery that it comes with that recharges, and we can push it down, and then you just set her in there like that. Bam, done. So again, here you pop it open. Push it this way, comes out, slide it back. You can see there's a little arrow on there, so you can't screw it up. Then you put this back on, and then you got to kind of pull it back a little bit and then push it forward, and it snaps, and that's that. All right, so here are the headphones themselves, and let's go ahead and pull those off. And basically, yeah, look, you've got, you've got a balance. Let me show you. you got a balance here. you got off and on, and you got volume. And... Um, I do believe what we got here. All right, so this also has a battery in it. It's probably going to need to be charged. And to get it out, you pull it like this, and it pops this way. You can see the little contacts in there. And to put it back in, you just push it like that, and it kind of springs in. And then again, this, is, this works the same way. You got to have it kind of back a little bit, and then you just snap it in. And that's it. And there's a little clip here. You pop it to get it off. You just pop it like this, I think, or maybe not. Or maybe you got to pull it back. Well, I don't know. I, I did get it off. Here, let's try again. Hmm. All right, so that gets in there. It's kind of hard to get off. Oh, there we go. So it takes a little. So you got to kind of push this in. Oh, I see. So this has to be kind of pushed in, and it pops. So you got to stick your nail in there, push against it, and this releases that little tab right there that I'm touching with my fingernail. So know that. So we're going to have to, we, we set this down inside there like that. Boom. This is how it goes in, I do believe. So you're going to notice that there's two close and one away. And if you look here, there's two close and one away. So when you charge it, it's probably going to go like that. And it looks like you can put two of them on here. But I think we only got one. So that's how it's going to sit. Let's see what's underneath here. I'm sure that we've got some cords and things. And it's slippery, it won't come out. There we go. Let's see what's inside. Okay, here we are. So we've got our, you know, traditional um, audio cords that you see on old stereos from the 70s. And it also has, um, it looks like it's got a couple of different, these these doohickeys right here. You can switch those out, you know, and see what, what size you need. And, um, yeah, that might, we might need those. Here's an audio, like for headphones. And then this is your optical splitter here. So the optical splitter goes into your TV, and then it goes into this unit itself here, right there. Let me show you. Right there. Okay. And then there's your power cord. So let's get all this stuff out of the way. So here's our unit itself. That's everything that comes with it. I'll go through it again. This is your uh, your um, part here that goes on there. There's your power cord, and this is an optical splitter, which I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with optical splitters or not, but that's what most of the new technology is. You have to pull this little thing off, and this would plug into your TV. And then this end's going to plug into this system down here. And I'll show you where it goes. So here's your optical splitter. you got to look at it. It's got a little bend on one side. So it's going to kind of go in like that. And that's how you set it in there. And then this side's going to go into the TV. 
All right, so we're gonna try it on the TV and see how it she works. And we'll plug it all in and hopefully it'll it'll do do the job that we need. So you do have two choices. You can use the audio in or the optical splitter. The optical splitter allow, I mean the optical in, I'm sorry, not this isn't an optical splitter, by the way. This is an optical system, which is like a light transfer, I think. But this one here is probably the best because you, that way you can hear the speakers on the TV and you can hear this. When you plug this in, sometimes on the headphones on the TV, you can still hear it on here, but what happens is you can't hear it on the TV speakers. So you may need to, you know, play with this a little bit and see how it works. First of all, you've got to look on the bottom and make sure that you've got these, uh, the two that are closer together and the one that's farther apart. So you want to slide this in like this, okay? And just push her down. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come to the back. And you're going to push your power cable in to the power, you know, where the power is supposed to go right there. Push that in, bam. Set her down. Then you've got to take this and you're going to plug it into the socket over here on the wall. Okay, and if you notice on the unit itself, no, the, none of the lights have, have lit up. And you can see there's some light dots up here. So to get to charge this, you've got to change it from off to either mono or stereo. So I'm just going to push it to stereo. And if you look, you can see that the lights are on. If I pull it back to mono, it doesn't change. It's the same. So I'm going to leave it on stereo. And then what we're going to do is just set it right there. And we're going to let this bad boy charge. All right. And we'll see how she works. Now you notice that these right here, you can take these off. The system does come with extra ones and it comes with these little ear hooks that you can use. And let me go ahead and just set these down here. The ear hooks themselves would go on here like this. And then you can slide that over your ear. You see how that works? Let me turn it a little bit. So you can see right here, this would just slide over your ear. Now you may not want to use that because it might you know, bother you. But it's an option to get it off you just push and it comes i think it comes off we'll see yeah there we go all right so you can see how that works right there you just kind of snap it on but we might not use these so but anyway you can if you need to and then if you need to change the things if they get dirty or or gross or whatever you get you get new ones you can put on there and they give you a whole bunch of them all right if you like this video subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on stuff like this